I must learn, therefore, to let go of the familiar and the usual and consent to what is new and unknown to me. I must learn to leave myself in order to find myself by yielding to the love of God. If I were looking for God, every event and every moment would sow in my will grains of His life that would spring up one day in a tremendous harvest. For it is God's love that warms me in the sun, and God's love that sends the cold rain. It is God's love that feeds me in the bread I eat, and God that feeds me also by hunger and fasting. It is the love of God that sends the winter days when I am cold and sick, and the hot summer when I labor and my clothes are full of sweat. But it is God who breathes on me with light winds off the river, and in the breezes out of the wood. His love spreads the shade of the sycamore over my head and sends the water boy along the edge of the wheat field with a bucket from the spring while the laborers are resting and the mules stand under, under the tree. It is God's love that speaks to me in the birds and the streams, but also behind the clamor of the city, God speaks to me in his judgments. And all these things are seeds sent to me from his will. Thomas Merton. And I can